Hi everyone! Hi Korean Cultural Center! Hi K-pop Academy! Well, as you can tell, I still have my coat on and I just arrived home and bought some amazing ingredients! Okay, well honestly, this is either going to be something really amazing or a spectacular failure. So basically, I will have a dinner party tomorrow because my great friend and flatmate Nina, whom you guys met in the previous video, is unfortunately leaving us. Ah, what a shame. Anyway, so I decided to cook some Korean for them. Let's see how it goes. Hey guys, okay, let's try this. I think I have everything, but I'm not sure. Honestly, like I'm just looking at the recipe. Guess what I search for? Quick, easy. <laughs> it's like, you know, the best I can do. Um, Anyway, I think I have everything prepared. What we are going to do is marinate the chicken. Because uh, I was like, what's a signature dish uh, that's just like very, very popular right now and it's also suitable for people who never tried Korean food in their life. I was like, chicken. Okay, obviously. We all remember those amazing chicken, Korean fried chicken advertisements. So I think this is, a, this is going to be a good one. Honestly, let's hope it turns out to be okay. So for now, I, I'm literally I have the uh, the recipe in front of me. Mix all ingredients together for the sauce. This is the stuff we are going to do because the party is tomorrow. So I was like, I'm going to marinate overnight. Yeah, I actually was thinking about putting this into a song like marinate all night, marinate all night. But like uh, you know, obviously not everybody's a a my friend lady fan. Uh, so I might as well just stop. Um, anyway, so we have two pounds of chicken wings and drumettes. Well, I hope drumettes, by drumettes this guy or girl means uh, drumsticks, because that's what I have, which is very ridiculous by the way. So let's see, we have like a lot of drumsticks, like honestly so much. Okay, so this is going to look awful, but I might as well just like cut it. Do you guys think I should watch it? Wash it? Probably I should. Oh, okay. Anyway, so we have the the drum sticks. Okay. I'm sorry for the awful noises, by the way. Whew. Uh, right. Uh, I don't know why I opened this. I don't even not even sure we need this now. Okay. So we need one inch of piece, one inch piece of fresh ginger, minced. Minced. I, I don't know how to mince it. Okay, well, luckily I've already thought about this because I actually bought minced ginger. <laughs> I know I'm cheating, but like, forgive me, I'm such a beginner. Anyway, so we have the ginger, that's okay. Let's open it. Oh, I got cheater. Anyway, open the ginger. This is the part when I'm going to be probably way too weak and I, I won't be able to open it. Such a great feeling. Okay, so we have the ginger, but what I don't have, I don't have a spoon. So give me a second, I'll be back with the spoon. To be continued. Okay, we're back. I opened up some of the ingredients to spare some time. Oh, so, so far so good. Okay, what do we have? Uh, marinate the chicken. Okay, well, I get that part. Mix all ingredients together for the sauce. Okay, fresh ginger, inch piece. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. We have it open. We just add. We will add it. Uh, hmm. Oh, this is the garlic. Oh my god, this is not going well. I was like, this looks similar. Anyway, do we have to add garlic as well? Yes, five. Five cloves. Okay, well, since we cheated again, this is going to be like half tablespoon. Okay. Okay, we have it in this. In this. Okay, another, you know, here's the thing, I love garlic. For me, it's kind of like a make or break for a, for a guy. Uh, honestly, because I just love garlic so much. If he doesn't like garlic, oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, anyway, so four, five, this looks good. This looks good so far, okay. Minced, that's nice, that's all good. Let's add some more. 
Okay. And honestly, we are going to have so much drumsticks that I actually need to add up the stuff. Anyway, I think I'm going to do it again if it's not enough. So I don't, you know, make mistakes. More garlic. A little garlic never hurts. So just add garlic. Oh, I love garlic. Can we just put garlic in everything? Garlic is the best. Okay. What else? Um, okay, two tablespoons of sesame oil. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, this is supposed to be, I bought a Korean brand. Just to make sure. Oh, okay, one, two, and a half. Okay, so far so good. Hmm, smells great. Even though if it's going to turn out awful, then at least it smells great. Anyway, I was supposed to taste the ingredients as well because I was like, mm, you might as well do it. And then we have six tablespoons is it table? Tablespoons, yeah. Six tablespoons of um, soy sauce. Okay. One, two, three, oh, four, five, six. Okay. That's a lot. Like you have to do it with feeling. Like my brother is so funny, by the way. Like he's the one who, honestly, he cooks with feeling, meaning that he doesn't even look. He just like salt, and then he sits down and watches the game. So I think it's a more of a management cooking style. But that's only my humble opinion. Not that I'm a great cook either. So I'm sorry. I love you though. Uh, anyway, so we have the soy sauce, uh, sesame oil already. The garlic. So now we have we have to do the ginger. Okay, so it's supposed to be uh, what is this? One inch. Well, it's just okay. One inch. Is, I don't. Here's the problem. I don't even know what inch means because uh, where I come from, we count everything in, in grams and kilograms and meters. So like this pound and inch thing, it just it it always you know just throws me off. I have no idea. Anyway, so that's supposed to be like an inch, is that like... Google break. Google break finished. Apparently it's 2.54 centimeters. Well, that's not a, a lot of help. So it was like two teaspoons. Looks good. Looks good to me. <laughs> okay. So far it's like... It's not that appetizing, really, it just... But the smell is freaking awesome. Okay, so it's absolutely amazing. Oh, well, now that we have this, three tablespoons of honey. I can do that. Wait, so we have sugar and honey? Huh. No wonder it tastes so good. <laughs> okay, well, so sugar and honey. Okay, well, yeah, I'm not joking around. I was like... This is the sad thing, like I would I would use honey as a replacement for sugar and then they are using both. Ah, oh, happy life, oh, anyway. So three tablespoons, okay, one, two, three, okay, nice. And then we, I have to get some sugar, I'm going to add that in later because I don't have it in front of me. Okay, what else? Onion minced. Seriously? Scrivo quest'ultima canzone solo per ricordarti. Cerco nel mio cuore se non c'è, non ti fa niente. Vorrei dimenticarti. Sonyantra, Mara Moku, Ulchi Mara. So, guys, we are back because I'm going to cut the onions because I knew it that you guys would like to see me suffer. Because it's like, it's not just about me not knowing how to cut onions that well. Okay, actually, I kind of know it, fine. But it just. <sighs> start to cry 
it's always an event to behold. Like my lovely flatmate Ed is also cooking in the background, so don't be distracted once uh, he kind of comes in and out. I think he's cooking something Italian, definitely something great. But guys, this is not going to be minced. It should be minced, but... <laughs> this is not minced. One of my brothers, not the one that I mentioned, but the other one, he usually puts up like swimming goggles, like swimming glasses. <sighs> okay, um, this is basic, this is by the way, basically me, like at the end of the notebook, or Nothing Hill, or any, uh, actually any film with a happy end, because I also cry at the happy end. But once I start watching Korean dramas, probably this is what's going to happen. Ooh. Okay, this is this is enough for mincing. I don't like. I don't. I don't know. I don't like this mincing thing. I'm just going to edit in. Freaking don't care. Oh, this is not good. Ah. Oh. Okay. Luckily, <laughs> we prepared for this occasion. reality of cooking you see like you, if there is a cooking show nobody shows the part when they are freaking crying from the onion okay. Okay. oh so that's it uh, this was tough I mean yeah this is real life guys there's nothing to think about this video Ooh, it's just getting stronger and stronger. Oh my god, what sort of onion is this? Ah. Anyway, okay, so now what we have left, onion is in, for sure. Uh, red pepper paste. One tablespoon. Ooh, okay. Before I, okay, I'm going to put it in. But I'm also going to try, because I never tr tried the raw ingredient before. Well, I don't know what sort of pepper this is, but it's definitely spicy. Not a lot, but just like kind of in between. Anyway, let's put this away. And now we are trying to mix this whole thing together. Oh, I prepared water. I just read my thought. Honestly, guys, I know I look like I'm, I'm. I look like I'm suffering, but I'm very excited about the result because I think the guys are going to love this. So can't wait to see what happens. I'm going to say goodbye for now because this is basically me pour it out on the chicken, and I don't have the right camera set to do that. But see you guys very soon. What will happen tomorrow? Hey everyone, it's the next day and this is the moment of truth to see how the marinade actually looks like. So get closer, get closer. <clears throat> so this is an overnight marinade. Mm. Oh, that looks so delicious. Okay, definitely, it's very, it's very garlic smelling. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is use this pan right here to <clears throat> make it a bit brown, I guess. At least this is what I read in the recipe. Not sure. We'll see how it turns out that we are going to put it in the oven, but we don't have 400 degrees, just 250. That's a recipe for failure, if you ask me. It's already hot in here, so I think it should be fine. And what's in the other pan? Uh, we are making rice as well, and we are going to make some bok choy as well. So bok choy, yeah. where is the bok choy? What? Where's the bok choy? Where's I the bok choy? It's right, it's right oh, over here. We are, we are preparing it. I mean, oh, look at uh, that. We'll, <coughs> we'll see how it turns out, okay? It looks lovely with the Korean music on the background. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's also true. We are listening to Dean. This is for today. We are listening to Dean. Uh, so, see you guys in, in very soon when we cut to the actual 
Baking. Sorry. Donna Ildi, so tell us what is it you're preparing okay, for so us the, tonight? Guys, the next video it's already we already failed because I already burned the chicken. You've got guests. Hello, Mr. Ed. Hey. So we, I already burned the chicken. You so guys you can see. see this is a very busy restaurant because look at the <laughs> delicacies here. It's top notch. It's top notch. We're supposed to put it in the oven, but I already burned it. So we'll see. See you guys in the next step. Oh Jesus, this is way too warm. Oh. It's an oven. I think it should be warm. Okay, well. The chicken looks really good. <laughs> Nina, is this the one with sugar? The For sure, yes. This why I love it so much. The one song with sugar in it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, it's very exciting. Look inside, look inside, it's like very tasty, nice color, look at this, it's very very hot, I'm gonna oh take it out now, my. I've never seen such a thing before, okay and this is us, this is gonna be delicious, oh my god, crispy on the oh, top, wow, it's still boiling, S still boiling, it's very hot, okay, okay, oh. It's a lot, Ildi. I mean, this is for four persons. Can you believe it? But this is a very special occasion. <laughs> very much so. Oh, wow. Well, Korean fried chicken, everyone. <laughs> well. Uh, we're going to eat it all. We're, this is something we're definitely going to enjoy.